All right, so first thing we're going to do is go into advanced mode by hitting F2. Move over to the tweaker tab and just go down the list here. So eco mode, I'm going to make sure this is disabled. X3D turbo mode, I'm going to go ahead and enable this. I get a lot of backseat Linuses commenting that this is useless for single CCD X3D chips. That is not the case. It does disable SMT and change the power profile as well. So it does affect the gaming performance even on a single CCD chip and it is ideal for gaming performance. Okay. Next, we're gonna go into advanced CPU settings and here we're gonna disable global C state control and disable SMT here. Now, like I mentioned, X3D turbo mode does disable SMT, but I'm just doing it for redundancy here. Next, we'll go into precision boost overdrive, set it to advanced. PBO limits will set to motherboard. Boost clock override does not work for the 7800 X3D, so we're gonna go ahead and skip that setting. For curve optimizer, we'll go in and set it to all core negative. My chip can hit 35. This is gonna be dependent on your silicon lottery. So some people can hit minus 20, some people can hit 35 like myself. So if you wanna find the limit, I would suggest starting around 20, 25 and going by increments of five and testing stability through something like OCCT or something like that, okay? All right, so now we're gonna move on to my memory tune. Just a disclaimer, not every kit is gonna be able to hit the same timing. So your ideal settings may be different from mine if you're running a different kit. If you're running a similar kit, you can try mine. If you don't wanna mess with fine tuning, just run your XMP Expo profile and make sure you set your F clock and U clock settings. The timings and such don't matter as much for Tarkov. You can see my RAM timing comparison here, but here's my setting. I turn off auto booster. I don't use an XMP Expo profile. This is a manually set profile. I'm running at 6,000 mega transfers per second for the F clock or the infinity fabric frequency. I'm running at 2100 megahertz. Most 7800 X3Ds are gonna be able to hit 2000 no problem. Above that, it's gonna be dependent on your silicon lottery. So just like with the undervolt, you can start at 2000 and test stability, then go to 2033, 2066, 2100, and so on and so forth. For the U-Clock setting, you want it synced with mem clock. For AM5 chips, F-Clock runs asynchronous to U-Clock and mem clock, but you want these two to be synchronized. In terms of the timings, here's what I'm running. CL30, 48, 48, 32. TRC50, TWR72, TRF50000, TRFC1600, TRFC2 Auto, TRFCSB Auto, TRTP14, TRDL10, TRDS4, TFA24, TWTRL16, TWTRS4, TRDRDSCL4, TRDRDSC Auto, TRDRDSD Auto, TRDDD Auto, TWRWRSCL1, TWRWRSC Auto, TWRWRSD Auto, TWRWRDD Auto, TWRRD6, TRDWR20. And then I just make sure that resizable bar is enabled in the BIOS. As we've seen recently, sometimes even if it's enabled in the BIOS, it might not be enabled through the NVIDIA driver. So make sure you check that once you get into Windows as well. If this helped you squeeze out every last frame out of your 7800X3D, imagine what else I figured out. I spent thousands of hours testing builds just for Tarkov, so if you want more no BS tuning, real world gameplay, and straight up better performance than anyone else is showing, hit that subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one.